The Niagara Falls Public Library is branching out, literally, but this time it's on wheels. Community Engagement Librarian Greg Jansen joins me now. And Greg, you're showcasing this just like an ice cream truck with other library materials, is that right? That is correct, yes, except it's, it's an ice cream truck where you actually get on board and help yourself to the ice cream, so. Awesome. Like, yeah. Tell me the specs of the truck. Right, so it's a 3500, a Sprinter 3500 van, extended length, extended height. So it's quite long and quite tall. You can fit maybe five to ten people inside of it. Now you still need your physical library card, right? It's uh, like, you, just like a regular you, library? You don't need a library card to come on the vehicle. You can come on, as, as anyone can come on, um, we can register for your library card, for a library card if you don't have one. Yeah. But there's more than just books in there, is that right? What do you have for uh, offerings? That is correct, yes. Yeah, so we have um, books, uh, it's called the Bookmobile, obviously. We have DVDs, um, video games, um, we have playaway readers, which are kind of these audiobooks that read themselves, uh, audiobooks on CD. But we can also bring things for people if you place holds on things, as long as it's not too big and unwieldy, because the library offers a whole uh, library of things, including musical instruments, um, Fishing tackle kits, we do snowshoes in the wintertime with board games, um, all kinds of stuff I'm sure I'm forgetting. Um, but yeah, we can bring almost anything to you as long as it's not a cello or something. Three branches in the city, mm -hmm. uh, Victoria Avenue, Stanford, and McBain, but you're really yes. trying to get out of the bricks and mortar, is that right? That's correct, yeah. We, we had a strategic plan um, just come out 24 to 2028, and uh, the consultants that did the work, um, the community research behind that, talked to a bunch of people in the community. They found out there were a number of people in the community who know and uh, use the library and love it. Uh, and there are several people, or there's a large group of people that do not really know much about the library. So our goal is to reach those people, the non-users, and to also better serve the people that already use the libraries but might face barriers to getting to one of our branches because you know uh, transit can be expensive, it can be a, a bit tricky to get around sometimes if you don't have a lot of time in your day. We're trying to make it as easy as possible to break down barriers for people to use the library. Now you have a couple pop-up locations that are happening uh, fairly soon. Yes. Um, one's happening uh, at the Gale Center, yes, Canada Saturday Day. Tell me about those events. Yeah, so well, basically, so to give you a bit of a background on the service, there's kind of we, we did some research on the service as it, as it is in uh, Hamilton, Toronto, Guelph. These are different library systems that have bookmobiles, a long established tradition of bookmobiles. And we found out the bookmobiles do basically three things. You can do regular stops where it's the same stop, same time every week. You can do outreach, which are targeted visits to uh, kind of schools, uh, retirement homes, kind of community locations. And then you can do events, special events. Um, and so a couple of the things we have coming up are special events. Uh, one of them is the Gale Touch a Truck, um, or the, the City Touch a Truck event at the Gale Center on Saturday, May 25th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, we'll be doing Canada Day at Fireman's Park. Uh, we just did uh, Mother Earth Day, uh, May 11th, at Fireman's Park, and it went really well. We saw 300 people. We signed several of them up for library cards, checked out a bunch of stuff. So we're looking forward to these, uh, the events coming up to kind of meet people who already know and, and use and love the library, but actually meet a lot of people who maybe don't know anything about us and might be interested to learn more. The new exchange in Niagara Falls is also going to be hosting you, and it's going to be hosting right. you on a regular basis. Is that right? That's correct, yes. So we just started our first stop there as the Farmer's Market opened this past weekend. Um, so we're going to be there at the Farmer's Market every morning, every Saturday morning, uh, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's going to be just a regular stop in our schedule. And you're planning for six days a week. That's a, a bold strategy. Yeah. Well, you know, it was not an inexpensive vehicle, so, uh, you know, as a public institution accountable to the public. It behooves us to make as mo the best use of it that we can to, to achieve the, the goals that we have for it, which is to just really get out there and, and meet people in the community. So yeah, we're, we're currently visiting um, Niagara Falls High Schools like three to four days a week. We're at a couple of the co-ops over on uh, Kayla Road um, and doing special events and things like this. And a number of stops in Chippewa as well uh, to substitute, unfortunately, the Chippewa Library was recently uh, closed. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're doing our best to kind of gap that service until they can find another permanent um, solution for a, for a Chippewa library. Uh, we're going to be out there three days a week and possibly more at some point. Greg, you're online. What's the website address? It's nflibrary.ca slash bookmobile. Awesome. Um, now, at the beginning of the segment, I said, like an ice cream truck, is ice cream going to be in the future? <laughs> Well, you know, it was suggested to us maybe we should get the bell, at least, the tone, so we can drive through the neighborhood and all the children will come running out of their houses. Maybe that's too much to expect, but we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll, we'll think about it. Awesome, Greg. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot.